Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the middleweight bout in one FC between Sebastian Kadastam versus Yuri Lapikis. So Yuri Lapikis, Sebastian Kadastam. How I feel about this one is low confidence going Yuri Lapikis. Um, I'm gonna say submission second round and Yuri Lapikis low confidence. The thing is, Yuri Lampikas has a style to beat Sebastian Kadastam. I mean, Kadastam got like seven losses, I think. Half or more than half of those, matter of fact, definitely more than half of those are by, you know, getting wrestled up, whether it be getting taken down and neck cranked or taken down and mostly controlled to a decision or such and such. But um, most of his losses come via grappling. He's a striker. You know, offensively, he's, for the most part, pretty one-dimensional. But he's very dangerous on the feet. Some killer power. And the reason why it's a low confidence is, like, you know, style-wise, you know, Yuri Lampika is like, why is he not high? Why is he not a lot? Because Yuri Lampika has had, you know, a tendency to not be an endure much in fights. And then also Sebastian Katastam, like, like he's one of those guys that ain't got that killing threat. He's a striker that if he puts his hands on you, he can put you out. He's not a striker that just looks pretty and do all these beautiful strikes but can't put, no, put you out. And on the other side, you got Yuri Lampika. And also he has, like, I think one fight, I think a McGuire fight. That was a, a wrestler type fighter. He was able to beat him, stop him like fourth, fifth round. So he's able to go. And he was a former champion as well. Not that old either. Thirty one. The most thing he entered his prime. Like the most people, he's entering his prime. But prior to his last win, he went for the striker. I mean, his last win, he fought a striker. Prior to that, I think he was on like a three fight losing streak. All like you know wrestling type fighters. And then he got a striker that you know really wasn't you know that good necessarily. Or, you know hadn't really made a, res a name for himself like that yet. So a guy that was kind of trying to make a name for himself. He knocked him out, so you can't really rate that win too much. And it's just like, he got him a stylistic matchup that, you know, he, he wants a striker, again, in a striker. That's what he wants. He's got a couple wrestlers and couldn't beat them. And now he got a striker in front of him, a lesser striker, and he put him out there pretty quickly. He did what he, you know, wanted to do. Like, he didn't have to go deal with no wrestling, no deal with no grappling, deal with a guy that was right there in front of him, knocked him out. But anyway, I say, Yuri Lampikas has the issue of, like, semi-quitting, like, we go, he only got one loss, so you can't say, like, oh, this guy lost like five, six, seven times because he quit. You look at the Eddie Alvarez fight, I feel like he kind of quit in a way, but it was like a no contest later on, turned into a no contest because he said back to head, he cried back to head. Then you look at the um, the Lee fight and um, his title fight, and he got sprawled on and got hit a couple times, but then, like he quit, like he tapped out, and like the ref just stopped it pretty early, but. Either way, I don't really see a necessarily a clear pattern or a quitting, but still, again, like to even have that being a question, make that a low confidence. Sebastian Catastine, you know, if he's not going to stop, he can go, you know, go the rounds. And all it needs is one opportunity, and you're going to quit when that one opportunity happens. That's a concern. So it's got to be low confidence. Yuri Lampikis, but I feel like he could, should be to take him down, should be to follow the blueprint. He got a good style, I mean, he got a good wrestling, good graphic skills, very aggressive, but that aggressiveness and not just kind of. Go in there just to lay and pray a little bit and just, you know, play, play it smart. That, you know, exciting for the fans and all that stuff. And, you know, that's what you want to see from fighters. But also at the same time, you know, from a betting perspective, you really want to see this guy go out there, just win. The odds are pretty close right now. Just win. Go out there, hug on him, stick your finger in his glove, drain that clock out, get the victory. Go on to the next guy. Hopefully you get a pillow-fisted striker and you could just, don't have that fear of getting hit with something that's going to sting and you're going to have to like, think, do I want to fight? Or be like, yeah, I, I really don't want to fight, but I'm, you know, some guy with like a little soft hands, but I could, I could deal with this. This guy don't hit that hard. I, I'll, I'll take a couple shots to get a takedown, grind him out. I could do this probably for a good three more years. The bad of Cattle Steam starting, you'd be like, you'd be definitely re like regretting your <laughs> taking this fight. But uh, anywho, your Olympic is second round submission. I feel like he should be able to get to the ground and, you know, really work for it and, the Badger Cat team has been a little bit vulnerable on the ground right now. Like, I feel like regressing in his growth in wrestling defense and, you know, just to defense. So, your Lampi gets second round submission, we take him down and just wear on the first round and aggressively look for the submission more so in the second round and be able to get it. So, in this fight, I got Yuri Lampi via second round submission. 